Hey comic fans, welcome back to another episode of the Comic Drill. I'm really excited about bringing you this next series of videos. This is going to showcase my complete CGC collection. Today's video will be all about DC with a few independents mixed in. The next probably two videos will be Marvel CGCs, mainly because my Marvel CGC collection is a lot larger than my DC. And um, before we get started, uh, if you would hit that like and subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. You'll get alerts on when uh, I post a new video. And uh, please leave any comments or questions you have. I love getting comments from comments, comments from viewers. And um, I appreciate it. So, uh, so as I said on some of my previous videos, I've probably been, I've reading, been reading comics since the 70s got into serious collecting in the mid 80s where I started going to the comic shop every week, which I still do to this day. And um, doing the research uh, on my CGC collection, I believe the first CGC book I did not purchase until 2003. So I haven't been buying CGCs a whole, uh, for a very long time. So let's get started on this and um, here we go. So my first one is Blue Beetle number one from Charlton Comics. Sorry about the glare. Uh, 1967, first appearance of the question, the original question, the best question as far as I'm concerned. And this was a, I believe this is Steve Ditko. Yep, Steve Ditko cover and art. And we all know him from Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, the second one is one of my favorite TV shows to still watch to this day. Andy Griffith from 1962. This is a four color uh, number 1252. They only made two, I believe two uh, issues with Andy Griffith on the cover. The other one is like a yellow cover and I've never been able to find one that was in decent shape. But this one's a, a 6.0. And of course you have old Barney there on the cover. Second one is Captain Adam number 82 with the first appearance of Nightshade and the Ghost. You also have an appearance by uh, Captain Adam in his original costume. Uh, next one, I, I believe I've already shown this on a previous video. In fact, you may, some of these CGCs you've probably seen in some of my previous videos, but I wanted to showcase all of them. Uh, Speed Buggy number one from 1975, awesome cartoon from the 70s. All right, uh, so I'm gonna start with Adventure Comics and I'm leaving my, the big boys, my big boys from the uh, my DC CGC collection for the last, about the last five or six books are pretty big books. So this is Adventure Comics number 306. This is the first appearance of the Legion of Substitute Heroes. Uh, I believe it was like Chlorophyll Kid and um, Polar Boy, who, who later becomes a Legion member. Um, you have Stone Boy, Night Girl, Fire Lad, and Chlorophyll Kid. It's an awesome cover too. Adventure Comics number 361 from 1967, the first appearance of the Dominators who uh, were seen not too long ago on the uh, CW shows, um, maybe three years ago. Adventure Comics number 293 from 1962, a little Kurt Swan art. And this is the first appearance of the Super Pets who are actually getting their own movie. I saw a trailer for it uh, about a month ago. I don't think it's coming out until next year though. Next one is, as I've stated in a previous video also, my favorite miniseries of all time, Crisis on Infinite Earths number one, that awesome George Perez cover. And we also have Crisis on Infinite Earths number four, all right, um, yeah, number four. And this is the, as I stated in a previous video, this is the second appearance of John Constantine. And it's funny how they don't, they don't note that, but um, uh, yeah, this is his second appearance in comics. 
Uh, this is a, a more recent one from 2015. This is the first appearance of Jonathan Kent, who is going to become Superman in the in Action Comics, I believe, here in the next couple months. This was Convergence, Superman Convergence number two. Next one is Superman number 76 from 1952. This is the first time that uh, Superman and Batman reveal their secret identities to each other. 1952 is a 6.5. I'm not really calling out the grades. Most of these you guys can see. Um, next one is Swamp Thing number 50. Uh, purchased this because there's a lot of talk about um, Justice League Dark getting their own TV show or movie. And this is kind of uh, one of the first, I guess it's a first unofficial appearance of Justice League Dark because you have Dead Man, Dr. Fate, Spectra, and Demon appear in this. So there's a lot of spec on this book. Next one is Aquaman number 33 from 1967. This is the first appearance of Aqua Girl. Right here. Uh, Aquaman number 35, the first appearance of Black Manta which I'm thinking he's going to play a big role in the next Aquaman movie. We have the first appearance, first appearance of the Parasite in the Action Comics 340 from 1966. I believe that's also Kurt, Kurt Swan cover. That's a Kurt Swan cover. Pretty awesome. Next one is Legends number three from 1987. This is the first appearance of the new Suicide Squad that most of us are familiar with. In fact, their new movie's coming out next month. And great John Byrne artwork here. The next one is Batman number 357, the first full appearance of Killer Croc. And there's also an Atari insert, so you can't go wrong if there's an Atari insert in your comic book. Next one is Batman number 386 from 1985, first appearance of Black Mask, although that's a terrible rendition of him. I, show, I think I showed this on my on my last video, maybe. This is Batman, I'm not sure if I did or not. Batman 635, first appearance of the Red Hood. A lot of spec on this. Um, he's making appearance in the Titans TV show on HBO Max. He is getting his own, well, he's gonna be a big part of, I think it's called Gotham Knights, a video game coming out next year. So, uh, I think DC has a lot of big plans for uh, the Red Hood. Uh, Batman Adventures number 12, first appearance of Harley Quinn. My favorite Harley Quinn. I'm not a big fan. I know this is gonna cause a lot of controversy, but I am not a big fan of the modern day Harley Quinn. I like, I like this version a lot better. We have a character that I never got into in the 70s. Um, but I picked it up because I got a good deal on it, and it was from 1977, the first appearance of Shade the Changing Man. And I believe that's Steve Ditko art too. Yep, Steve Ditko cover and art. Next one is Ragman number one from 1976, another character that I don't know a whole lot about. In fact, um, the, the most I know from this character is from his appearance on the Arrow TV show. So I don't know a lot about him, but Ragman number one. Uh, Wonder Woman number 90 from 1994, the first appearance of Artemis. I believe that's a, is that a Brian Bolland cover. Yep. Brian Bolland cover, awesome. You'll know him from the Killing Joke cover and art. A book that I bought not too long ago, and it has taken off like nuts. 
Shazam number 28, the first modern day appearance of Black Adam. And The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, who is going to be portraying him, uh, just posted a video or a, a picture online like last week showing the back, the back of his costume and stuff. And I think it's gonna be an awesome movie. I think it's gonna revitalize the DC movie universe. I really feel like that's gonna, it's gonna take off after this movie. And you can't have Black Adam without Oh Mighty Isis, number one from 1976. And I remember her from, watched her and uh, Shazam had, her own, um, had their own TV hour. So that's how I got to know Isis. Another one of my favorite books of all time, another George Perez uh, good one. New Teen Titans number one. Uh, this was the second appearance of Starfire, um, Cyborg, and Raven. I think I've got I've got multiple copies of this. Oh, this is only one. I think this is the only one I have graded though. Yeah. And this was a, in an old CGC case, so you can't really see, but it's a 9.6. All right, this is the only, I believe the only, um, I guess you would consider this golden age. I guess that Superman 76 might be considered. Um, More Fun Comics number 87 from 1943. Um, I bought this solely because I'm a huge fan of All-Star Squadron and I love Johnny Quick. He's kind of a, a lot of people call him a poor man's Flash, but I don't know, I just, I just love the Johnny Quick character. Awesome cover there. Getting closer to the big ones. All right, we have Flash 117 from 1960, the first appearance of Captain Boomerang, who's also gonna be in the Suicide Squad movie. We have Forever Forever People number one from 19, uh, 1971, first full appearance of Darkseid. Um, I think his first appearance was in the Superman's friend, Jimmy Olsen. Well, it was on a little TV screen. His little head's all you saw on that one. But this is his first full appearance. I apologize for that glare. It's terrible. Flash 112 from 1960. First appearance of Elongated Man. Love that cover. All right, we're starting to get into some big ones now. This is Flash 123. This is the first Golden Age Flash in the Silver Age, and this kind of kicked off the multiverse, the Earth 1, Earth 2 deal, Flash of Two Worlds. And this is a, one of my favorite covers. I believe this was um, Carmen Infantino, yeah. This is Detective 267 from 1959. Uh, this is the first appearance of Batmite. All right, here comes the big boys. This is Detective Comics 359, the first appearance of Batgirl, Barbara Gordon Batgirl. There was a previous Batgirl, but this is the, the one that we know as Batgirl, Barbara Gordon. And I bought this, I got this for next to nothing years ago. This book has exploded. Next one is the first um, origin and first Silver Age appearance of Hawkman and Hawkgirl in Brave and the Bold number 34. Brave and the Bold, number 28. The first appearance of the Justice League. Awesome cover, classic cover. Uh, I bought this book and I believe it was um, another major Marvel key at the same time. Um, and I was convinced to buy these by my friend, my former co-host who's never, never shows up on this channel anymore. 
Um, he taught me into buying these two, and I'm glad I did because both of these books, especially the Marvel Key, which I won't mention that since I'm not doing my marbles this time, but um, they, they, they really increased in value. This one, not as much, but the other one, yes. Love that cover. Uh, this one is probably the lowest grade of my DCs I have, but I bought it because you never see this book. Um, and if you do, it's astronomically priced. Adventure Comics 247, the first appearance of the Legion of Superheroes. I love those original costumes of Cosmic Boy, Lightning Lad, and Saturn Girl. And that was a 2.5, but it wasn't cheap for a 2.5 either. It's hard book, hard book to find in decent shape. Next one is Hawkman number four with the first appearance of Zatanna. Um, another character that's getting a lot of heat, a lot of talk about her being in the Justice League Dark movie. So we'll see what happens, but this book has really taken off in the last couple years. And that was from 1964. And we got three more. This one is Green Lantern number 87, the first appearance of Jon Stewart. Um, and this is the second appearance of Guy Gardner. This book has taken off like gangbusters because of the HBO Max Green Lantern TV show they keep talking about. So this is a, becoming a really hot book. And this was a 9-0, so I got a really good grade in this one. All right, the last two big, big keys coming up here. First one is, this book has taken off. <laughs> Green Lantern, or Showcase number 22 from 1959, yep. First appearance of Hal Jordan. Uh, again, because of the HBO TV show, this book has skyrocketed in the last couple years. Um, last but not least, this is definitely by far my biggest uh, DC key that I have. And I don't know that I'll ever get rid of this. Showcase, number four, the first appearance of the Silver Age Flash and the book that is considered by a lot of people to uh, have kicked off the Silver Age of comics. Um, so big, big key. Again, my friend Keith talked me into buying this years ago, um, right before the Flash TV show came out and this book took off and it stayed pretty hot. So thanks to Keith, even though you don't ever show up for any uh, videos. Um, so that's it. That's my DC CGC collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, had a good time uh, looking through these old CGCs and pulling them out. Um, my next video, like I said, will be my Marvel keys, uh, CGC keys. And um, it'll probably be two videos. I'm gonna try to do it in the two videos. It may be stretch it to three, but I'm gonna try to do it in two. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of my CGCs, I'd really like to hear from you. Um, again, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'd appreciate any comments or questions or even criticisms. I don't mind criticisms either. So, I have to give a shout out to two people. One, to Jerry the Jitterbug. If you have not um, seen his channel, please like and subscribe his channel and tell him the comic drill sent you. He does a lot of uh, Silver Age, uh, Batman, Captain Marvel, Wiz Comics unboxings. He does a lot of videos on how to clean comics and restore them. And uh, I really enjoy watching his videos. Shout out to him because I won a contest uh, several weeks ago and he sent me a couple cool comics. So I appreciate that, Jerry. Second person I have to shout out is probably my youngest fan. Uh, I guess you could call her my god niece, Sefi. So if you're watching this, Sefi, how are ya? And uh, she is three years old, and um, she's definitely probably my youngest viewer. Um, so uh, everybody give her a shout out. And, and one last thing before we go, don't forget to brush and floss your teeth. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, later.